Hello everybody, it is Neil from Miss Scientist here, and today we are going to be doing a Draw My Life of Sophie Germain. So Marie Sophie Germain was a French mathematician who made significant contributions to the number theory of primes and the theories of acoustics and elasticity. Uh, really quickly, in this clip, I misspelled April, so just ignore that. But Sophie was born on April 1st, 1776 in Paris, France, and she was the middle daughter of her family. In her earlier years, Sophie's house was a meeting place for those working on liberal reforms. Because of this, she was exposed to many political and philosophical discussions and ideals growing up. So Sophie was educated at home, and she spent a lot of time reading and exploring in her father's very large library. In fact, one of the books she read actually inspired her to become a mathematician. Sophie told her parents about this goal, but they were against it. They believed that being a mathematician was no job for a girl. However, Sophie was not easily discouraged and still she spent the majority of her time in her father's library filling her brain with knowledge. Later in life, when women were still not allowed at the universities, Sophie used the pseudonym of M. Leblanc in order to get lecture notes from a new military school in France. In fact, it was through that military school that she met a man by the name of Joseph, who was an amazing mentor and a huge source of support to Sophie. Sophie later started working on number theory after being inspired by Carl Friedrich Gauss's work in 1801. In 1804, she actually began communicating with Gauss under a male pseudonym. And just a quick fact, Gauss only learned about her true identity because she helped grant him protection when he was in danger in 1807. In 1809, the French Academy of Sciences held a competition. They were offering a prize to the person who could come up with the mathematical theory of elastic surfaces. In 1811, and again in 1813, Germain submitted an anonymous record, but both times she was unsuccessful and didn't win the prize. Finally, on her third attempt in 1816, she won the prize. Her memoir was eventually published in 1821. Throughout the 1820s, she worked on her research, but she didn't really make too much progress, especially because she was isolated from the academic community because of her gender. However, Sophie did start working on her number theory again. She was successful, proving a solution to Fermat's last theorem, though she didn't publish her work. Unfortunately, she was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1829 and died of this cancer two years later. Sadly, she was supposed to receive an honorary doctorate degree from a university in Germany, but she passed on before it could be awarded. Sophie Germain died June 27, 1831 in Paris, France. Though she passed away, her contributions to the world of STEM will never be forgotten. That concludes our Sophie Germain Draw My Life. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.